Story of Daryl by Tyler Edwards Based on a totally true story Dedicated to Edna Now we begin Chapter 1 How it all started Once upon a time There was a man named Daryl There was also a boy named Zack Zack didn't know who Daryl was So Zack was thrown over the balcony By his crazy classmates who worshipped Daryl See Daryl was a god along with Bob Ross with a haircut, Edna, and Pablo. The teacher Mrs. Buddy didn't approve so she chucked Zack's classmates off the balcony. However, Mrs. Buddy didn't see the sign that said nothing should ever go over the balcony. The principal was mad and was about to get mad at Mrs. Buddy when Daryl, Edna, Pablo, and Bob Ross with a haircut descended from the heavens and saved Mrs. Buddy. Chapter 2, Daryl's Home Mrs. Buddy was taken to Daryl's home. She put cucumbers over her eyes and relaxed while Edna and Bob Ross with a haircut stood guard outside. Mrs. Buddy even met Daryl's pet illegal orangutan. But on one calm day, the principal arrived, possessed by Zack's spirit, and he wanted revenge. He dragged Daryl to the balcony and threw him off just for satisfaction and then cornered Mrs. Buddy. But out of nowhere, Edvil, Edna's brother, swooped from the sky and saved Mrs. Buddy again. Jeez. She was good at getting saved. Chapter 3, Zack's Curse. After thanking Edville, Mrs. Buddy returned to her old classroom, hoping to find something helpful. But when she returned there were five posters with the faces of Dear Daryl and the other gods. Even the legal and Gautain was there. Then Daryl spoke to her and said, to break Zack's curse you need to find all of your students that you threw off the balcony and apologize to them. They survived the fall because I conveniently placed a trampoline there. Okay, Mrs. Buddy replied. Then, she went to find the first student, Neil. She found Neil on a Zoom call with someone. He was saying, I know. Our teacher Mrs. Buddy made us write three pieces of evidence instead of two. I wanted to leave, because yes. I heard that, Mrs. Buddy said. Oh shoot, Neil told his friend, she's here. Then he hung up. I just wanted to say, Mrs. Buddy said, I'm sorry for throwing you off the balcony. Oh, okay, Neil said, sure, fine, whatever. Mrs. Buddy felt power coursing through her veins. Now she would look for Adam. Chapter 4, Apologies. She found Adam eating an apple in a tree. Not weird at all. Hey Adam, Mrs. Buddy said, I wanted to say I'm sorry for chucking you off the balcony. Does green plus green equal green? Adam asked, can we watch the penguin movie because it had continental drift? Mrs. Buddy gave a fake smile and said, sure. Yes, Adam said. Next was Adrian. He was found humming a song, same sign positive, different sign negative. Hi Adrian, Mrs. Buddy called. Ah, Adrian cowered in fear. If you don't like me singing the song in the hallways with Neil and Adam then I'll stop, he said quickly. No, Mrs. Buddy said, I just want to say sorry for throwing you off the balcony. Okay, Adrian said confusedly, same sign positive, different sign, negative. Next was Emma. Mrs. Buddy found her back in the classroom. No matter where you are. She whispered, it always feels like Daryl's poster is staring at you. Okay, Mrs. Buddy raised an eyebrow, anyway, sorry. Yeah, that's fine, Emma said, anything to get rid of these posters. Mrs. Buddy was making progress. Next, she would go to Tyler. She found Tyler at the school. Hello Tyler, Mrs. Buddy said, I have come to. Tyler cut her off and said, Tell me that putting my name three times on a kahoot is cheating? No, I wanted to say. She was cut off again by Tyler, that I need to bring my glasses? No, Mrs. Buddy told him. I wanted to say I'm sorry for throwing you off the balcony. Oh, okay. She only had a few left. Next, she went to Terry. Mrs. Buddy, Mrs. Buddy. Terry was running to Mrs. Buddy. You know how you said babies couldn't walk upside down? Well, if you name it dinner bone, then... Sorry for throwing you off the balcony, Mrs. Buddy said, then quickly left. At Liam, Mrs. Buddy 
he tried to apologize, but he kept dribbling his basketball. I'm sorry for throwing you over the balcony. Mrs. Buddy said quickly, then left. Next, with Amelia, Mrs. Buddy was once again experiencing her students' distinct personalities. Just because I was the last to join the Kahoot, Amelia said, doesn't mean you can throw me off the balcony. Fine, Mrs. Buddy said, I'm sorry. Then she went to Antonia, who was right near Amelia, then Sona who was apparently the person on Zoom with Neil. And finally Presley, who was running away in fear that she would get thrown over the balcony again. Finally when she apologized, she felt very good again and again and again and uh... Oh! Then, she was ready to free the gods. Chapter 6, The End So Mrs. Buddy freed Daryl and the others. Then Daryl gave his last instructions, go to the principal and free him from Zack's spirit. So Mrs. Buddy did so. When she got to the principal, she held out her hands and blasted a beam of light, containing all of her students' personalities. She could hear voices coming from the beam that were saying things like, green plus green equals green, or no evidence, or just name it dinner bone, and the beam freed the principal. He thanked Mrs. Buddy and left, but someone else was there. All of her students arrived just in time to see Zack, revived on the floor. Oh, he said. I feel weird. Well, at least you know who Daryl is now, Adrian said. Daryl, asked Zack, who's Daryl? The end.